Ladies and gentlemen, it is time, it is about time for another episode of Presents from Pidgey. So if you guys are excited, let's go ahead and dive right into the video, shall we? What's good everybody, Dargle here, back at it again with another video but in today's video ladies and gentlemen like i mentioned in the beginning of the video basically in the intro it is time for another episode of presents from pidgey if you guys are unaware of what this series is basically you guys send me fan mail and i open it up on the channel and on video so if you guys are interested in sending your boy any type of piece of fan mail i do have my p.o box in the description down below as well as on the screen right here. I have no idea why I'm doing a triangle, like I'm part of the Illuminati. Let me go ahead and stop. But guys, as I mentioned, we're gonna try to get through as much fan mail as we can. Like I said, I can't open up every single piece of fan mail in one video because that means the video will be like, what, one hour, two hours, three hours long. It will just be way too long and way too unnecessary, you feel me? I'm trying to keep these episodes to a minimum of 20 minutes to 30 minutes just so we can get a good chunk of fan mail over with, you feel me? So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. Let's try and get this video to at least 750 likes. And also make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the Ghoul Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like these lovely individuals that you see on the screen. But guys, we're not going to blabber up too much. I'm trying to find the star of the show, which is actually right here. So if you guys are unaware how the star of the show works on Presents from Pidgey, basically the best card or the most rarest card from each envelope, package, whatever it is, will be going on that card stand so every single person who sends something over has a chance of being the star of the show now without further ado ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go ahead and dive right into the opening all right guys so this is package number one and y'all already know the first package gets the honors to do a money shot so one two three money shots all righty it is band-aid up not band-aid rubber band up and y'all already know that i pre-open every single package just so we can save some time during the opening so let's go ahead and see okay we got some heat ladies and gentlemen somebody call the fire department Alrighty guys, let me go ahead and put this to the side first, and let's go ahead and read the note, shall we? Alrighty guys, so this individual basically told your boy, please do not take the cards out of the sleeve, but you can put them in the binder. So I'm not sure if they have like special sleeves or something like that, but we'll go, we'll go ahead and see what we're working with once we get to those. But there is a very adorable picture of a Mew, and bro, just look at Mew! Mew has been going to McDonald's way too much, been eating those chicken nuggets, those Big Macs, and a large Coke every single day, my guy. Like, just look at how much Mew has been eating. That is some weight goals. If you're trying to gain some weight, then this is goals right here. But nonetheless, it's a very adorable picture, do not get me wrong. But let's get into the card shenanigans, and let's see what is going on right here, ladies and gentlemen. So first and foremost, we got a Mega Beedrill, which is absolutely beautiful. I don't get why you didn't put the Beedrill in a sleeve, but you got a Lunala Reverse in a sleeve, my guy. Actually, yeah, it's on a sleeve. You should have put the Beedrill in there first. But then again, if you love Lunala, by all means, put it in a sleeve, my guy. But check this out, guys. We got Sogaleo and Lunala. We got the Dawn Wings Necrozma, the Cosmoam. And it looks like there's something right behind this card. It's kind of sticky, but it is none other than a Raikou. We got Type Null and a bunch of other comments and uncommons. But we got another Ultra right here. It is none other than the Lucario GX straight from the collection box as a matter of fact let me go ahead and give this a nice little sleeve just so it doesn't get more damage y'all already know for all like the ultras the vintage hollows basically all the goody goodies 
they basically go in a fan mail binder and once that fan mail binder gets filled up i'm gonna go ahead and make a video on it just so you guys can see the progress that you the ghoul army has done so far so out of these two ultra rares i'm not sure which one deserves the star of the show probably the mega beedrill because i absolutely love me some mega beedrill my guy so let's go ahead and put all the cards actually let me go ahead and put them towards the side so there's just not too much going on on the playmat itself but here's a quick tip for you guys that actually use rubber bands to hold cards together i do not recommend you use rubber bands to hold your cards because it will damage the cards over time the more you have the rubber band over the card i only recommend using rubber bands if you have top loaders which are basically like these hard plastic cases but even so i don't recommend to use them at all just an fyi for all of y'all that are actually using rubber bands because it does in fact and it has been proven to damage cards over time don't get me wrong guys obviously i don't care if you send cards rubber band up that doesn't bother me at all it's just for those that don't know that rubber bands damage cards you feel me it's just like a little tip my guy on to the next package though we got ourselves a little envelope that says please open this in a video don't trip I got you, my guy. So let's see what it is. Read first. Don't worry. I will read that first. It looks like we got some cards, a drawing, and then we got the note. All right, guys. So this letter does come from the homie Giovanni, aka Team Rocket's leader. No, I'm just kidding. The homie's name is Giovanni, but who knows? You could be the leader of Team Rocket. Do you like Team Rocket? Let me know in the comments down below. But guys, they basically love the channel and they actually want me and another Pokemon YouTuber named Real Breaking Nate to basically become friends. But guys, we are already friends. We do talk basically every week and whatnot. So we can probably fix something up or get something going. No problem. We actually have been talking about something like that for a hot minute. And their question was basically asking me if I have a technique on picking out booster packs to get ultra rares in stores honestly it's a gamble but for example let me go ahead and tell you something that i do if there's like a rack of booster packs i don't just grab the first five i literally grab it you know a couple from the front a couple from the middle and then a couple from the back that's how i do it just to increase the chances of randomness because you never know if the employees just took it out the case and put it you know one by one by one simply how it was in the case you feel me I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it did. You feel me? And here is a drawing. Oh, don't tell me this is a Kiram. There we go. Sorry for being so small. It took me five or six minutes. We got the Dark Ghoul channel logo, and then we got the White Kiram. I already knew who this was right when I saw the tubing, the hands, the tail. It was definitely some sort of Kiram Pokemon drawing, but check that out. Y'all already know that I love me my Mew, and y'all already know that I love me my Kiram. So this is absolutely amazing, and I love you guys. Every time you guys give me drawings, it is just absolutely fun to look at. But let's go ahead and check out the cards, and let's see what we're working with right here. I'm not sure if we should do a pack trick, but we're going to go ahead and open this up normally, and let's see what we get. So it looks like we got ourselves a electric, which I absolutely love the evolution line of Tynamo. I have no idea why. It's just probably one of my most favorites from the Unova region. But we got ourselves the Lord Helix custom card right there. Check that out. No weakness. Rarest card of all time. We pulled it here on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Sent by one of the members of the Ghoul Army. And next up, we got the Mew GX Infinity HP. And it looks like it has a ton of stars. This is not Yu Gi Oh, my guy. No, I'm just kidding. But I do love all the stars. The Mew drawing Infinity Damage. That is crazy. This card is OP, and you basically need no energy. You can use this card and win the game right off the bat. You feel me? So that is absolutely crazy. I think I'm going to go ahead and put Lord Helix on the front because it is the rarest it is the god of all pokemon whether you like it or not you feel me it's not arceus it's lord helix my guy if you disagree what's up <laughs> what's up bro fight me no i'm just kidding don't find me please i don't know how to but let's go ahead and keep it rolling guys and let's try to open as much 
Pokemon packages, or why am I saying Pokemon packages? Let's try and open up as much fan mail as we can, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and put the cards towards the side, and let me get myself situated right quick. Alrighty, guys, so the note is nice and simple. They have been watching me since 175,000 subscribers, which is probably like... 100,000 subscribers ago, I believe. So that is absolutely crazy that us, the Ghoul Army, has came so far, and it is just absolutely crazy. And they basically loved the videos and told your boy to keep it up, and then they sent over a little amazing card and a Pokemon that I really, really love. And they also sent over this little drawing of a scythe, which is actually really good, so keep it up if you do actually like drawing. And the first thing that they want is basically this Mewtwo signed and sent back, which they did provide postage and an empty envelope. So if you guys do want me to send back a signed card, all you got to do is do what this individual did. And they basically included postage and an empty envelope so I can send back the card. No problem. Otherwise, it's going to take a while for me to send back the card if you guys did not provide postage and an empty envelope. Because that basically means I have to go to the post office and buy it myself and whatnot. So they also sent over a Gallade EX. That's crazy. That is crazy. And a couple empty sleeves right here. And a Reshiram EX, ladies and gentlemen. It is damaged. It is taped. So they did do the Dark Ghoul tape challenge. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all get it? Because I taped up a Reshiram and Charizard GX. No? Okay. I'm gonna stop. But guys, they sent over two amazing cards, and let's go ahead and put Reshiram as the star of the show. I do not care if it's damaged. Y'all already know that I love me Reshiram so much that it has to be the star of the show, my guy. It just has to be. Alrighty, guys, on to the next one. Let us see what is inside. So that is everything right there. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and give you guys is the code card, and it is a code for Unbroken Bonds. So good luck to y'all and make sure you thank this individual for giving you guys the code. So it looks like we got a couple cards right here. But let's go ahead and see what it do with the note, shall we? Alrighty guys, so this individual is named Antonio and basically they're 10 years old. Which is absolutely crazy to imagine someone of that age is watching the channel. But then again, Pokemon is basically an audience for everybody. It does not matter the age you are. But basically, they have been, they barely just recently started collecting Pokemon. So good luck to your future collection and good luck on your pools. And they also have a personal request, which I will be fulfilling, you know, off camera and not during the video. And they basically sent over a couple cards. So we got ourselves a Mackie from Team Rocket, bro. You didn't even exist when this set came out, Antonio. So that's absolutely crazy you have this card. Not that it matters, like, you don't have to be old to like these sets, these vintage sets, you feel me? I feel like a lot of people don't see it that way, but I don't know. For me, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you want to like Sky Ridge and you're only like, what, 12 years old? By all means, love Sky Ridge, you feel me? Just love what you love. But guys, let's go ahead and continue. We got a man key. Oh, what? We got a secret rare... Darkrai GX and a Tapu Bulu promo card. But what? I was not expecting the secret rare. Oh my god, that is beautiful. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful right there. Check that out. I love, love, love Darkrai. Do not get me wrong. When I first saw Darkrai, I didn't really like it as much. I'm not going to lie. But over time, I've grown to really, really love Darkrai. It's design and it's backstory. I don't know. I just really love this Pokemon. But check that out. We got the secret rare action, my guy. That is crazy right there. Honestly, 100% crazy. Gently put it as the star of the show, Dark Ghoul. Do not damage it. Please. Alright, guys. So we are now down to the next package. And let's just go ahead and see what is inside so it looks like we got ourselves a little note right here if i can grab it without damaging the letter which was unsuccessful but let's see what this says it's short and sweet hey dark ghoul sorry it took so long for another fan mail save the covered one for last it's very special winky face i'm scared 
I am honestly scared. And then we got like this little, I don't even know what this hand signal is called. It basically an okay, but some people actually use this for like making you look at it. I have no idea what is going on with that symbol, but let's just go ahead and say that it means okay. So, okay, alrighty guys. We got the cover card right here. And oh my god. That is a beautiful sleeve right there. We got Rayquaza, Minun, Spoink, and Plusel. And then it looks like we got another Pokemon right here. I actually got to look at it a little bit closer to identify what that is. But this sleeve is really, really cool. <laughs> that might be the best thing out of this entire package. I'm not going to lie. I rarely see like very creative sleeves like this because I usually use the ETB sleeves. I'm not going to lie. But guys, it looks like we got some evolutions going on right here. We got the Sylveon EX from Radiant Collection from the Generation set, I believe. And then, ooh, that is a good one. We got the Umbreon EX full art, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. This card right here, the Umbreon in general, is amazing. It is honestly amazing so let's go ahead and put that back in its sleeve and let's go ahead and put these down and let's see what is going on with this card right here ladies and gentlemen what card do you think this is there's a ton of ultras you can choose from because obviously there's a border right here it kind of looks goldish in a sense so i think it might be a secret rare i'm not sure what secret rare to guess but let's go ahead and take out the paper and are you guys ready? I'm so nervous right now. You can hear my heart beating, bro. Like, I'm just 100% nervous right now. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, and three. Oh, it's a Mega Charizard full art. Oh my God. That is crazy. Take it out the sleeve, gently. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Mega Charizard EX. Mega Charizard Y Full Art. If you guys did not know, this is the Y version of Charizard because the X version of Charizard is black with blue flames. And I love both of them. Do not get me wrong. I love both Mega Forms. But check that out. This card right here, my guy is one of my favorites from the XY series. Hands down, easily one of my favorites from the XY series. And the homie sent this over to you, boy! I don't deserve this. After ripping the Reshizard, I feel like I don't deserve any type of Charizard card. I'm not gonna lie. But guys, that is a treat. And on top of that, we got some Evolutions. So we got a Charizard and Evolutions on top of that. That is... I'm speechless, bro. I'm honestly speechless. Who's going to take the start of the show? Charizard or Umbreon? I'm not sure. I feel like Charizard should because Charizard is an iconic Pokemon. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The almighty Charizard on the card stand. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much for sending that over. That is honestly crazy. And it blows my mind that you guys send cards like this because... I'm just over here thinking, are you sure you can spare that from your collection? It's honestly crazy, but that is going to look absolutely insane in the fan mail binder. But alrighty guys, moving on to the next package. Let's go ahead and take everything out of this one and let's see what's going on here. Alrighty guys, I went ahead and grabbed the letter and they basically said, Hello Dark Ghoul, my name is Adrian and I sent you some stuff. We got the Dark Ghoul lettering logo and they also want to do a trade with me so let me go ahead and explain how trades work it's preferred if you contact me you know via instagram twitter or just in my email it doesn't matter what it is but make sure you contact me before you make a trade because if you send over a trade without me knowing it's basically putting me on the spot you feel me so if you do want to trade for a gyarados hyper rare I might have something for that card because I don't even own it. So just hit your boy up and contact me ASAP in all my social media platforms. They are in the description down below. But they sent over a Gardevoir EX is what it looks like. A Lord Helix Trader card. A reverse. And we got a go- What is this? Y'all already know I love me and my Dragon Ball Z. 
Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super. Oh my god, it's Tate. Let's not hurt the Lord Helix. There we go. So it looks like we got it out without damaging anything. It looks like you put this on your keys or something like that. So check that out. We got the Super Saiyan Goku in the cut. Absolutely crazy. Check that out. And then we got the Gardevoir EX as well as the Lord Helix. And it looks like we got some more cards right here. And luckily enough, I got my scissors right here. So we do not struggle with opening anything in this episode. So let's go ahead and see what we got right here, guys. First and foremost, here is a code card for the Ghoul Army. So make sure you guys redeem that and thank the homie for sending you the code. Do we do like a pack trick? Let's do four to the front because I do see a sleeve card right here. And I'm not sure if that is a banger banger. So we got ourselves a couple commons in uncommon action right here. We got the Stuffle, the Magic card, and we got a Dark Ghoul Trainer card right here. It looks like it is a full art trainer card and its ability is to make Mew stronger I approve I approve that is an actually really good ability so I believe I thought there was something else back here because it feels a little thick but it looks like there isn't so let's go ahead and put that right there and the final thing in this package it looks like it is a drawing and it is absolutely crazy it is basically Snorlax using Hyper Beam and that is trainer gold right here if you guys did not know so check that out, guys. Here is a better look at the drawing. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Do not get me wrong. This drawing, I love the colors and everything. It flows together. But guys, we're going to go ahead and put the new star of the show. And let's go ahead and make it as this Dark Ghoul trainer card right here, ladies and gentlemen. Because y'all already know that I love me the custom cards y'all make. Alrighty guys, so this might be the final package of this video. We're gonna go ahead and see. It all depends how long this video turns out, but I believe we are already at like 30 minutes. So that is quite the time. Alrighty guys, so this individual has been watching since we broke Mr. Scotch. If you guys do not know who that is, it's basically an old pair of scissors that we used to do on a bunch of Pokemon Save It or Rip It. And we ended up breaking it in one of the videos, which was absolutely sad and depressing. But, you know, you gotta move on in life, you feel me? And they basically said, I'm sorry for the Charizard and Reshiram secret rare. And I know, that video was hard. It was so sad to do. And they also had a personal request, which I will be doing off camera. Because I basically want to sign card and whatnot. And oh my god, that is adorable right there. We got a Mew drawing right here. Check that out. We got a nice little Mew drawing, which is absolutely adorable. And if you guys are wondering what I do with all the drawings, I'm actually going to be making a scrapbook of all the drawings that the Ghoul Army sends over. I feel like it's going to look absolutely crazy and you guys are going to love it. So next up, we got ourselves a custom booster pack with no pack trick. I literally just ripped it open right now, but I forgot to read the front. But we got no pack trick right here, guys. So let's see what we're working with. We got vintage vibes, bro. Check this out. We got a Cyndaquil from E-Series. Yo, these take me back. We got the Minun. Bro, these cards are old and amazing. I love them. We got the Beldum. A fighting energy from the E-Series, bro. That is absolutely crazy. We got the Meowth. I remember this card so much. I used to have so many copies of this card. Lieutenant Surge is Rattata. Level 7. Gym Heroes. Or it's one of the Gym Series cards. Or sets, I should say. We got Sabrina's Porygon. Yo, we got the Carvana Reverse. Just look at this crazy reverse pattern. You can definitely tell that... It is so different from today's reverses. I miss these old ones. The only downside on the old ones, you gotta put them in sleeves or else they're gonna scratch up like crazy. But nonetheless, I do prefer the old ones over the newer ones. But check that out. That is a very nice piece right there. And we got, oh, hold up. We got the Mawile Holographic. I literally thought this Lord Helix was the last card. But check that out. We got Lord helix in premature baby form absolutely crazy well actually the premature baby would have been the fossil itself and then Omni is like the team but check this out guys what a great way to end off this package we got ourselves some vintage vibes and some older holographics right here 
I'm not sure what set this Mawile is from. It could be from a Diamond and Pearl set is what I'm assuming because that's what the artwork kind of reminds me of. But then again, I could be 100% wrong because I'm not good at determining which set is which. So let's go ahead and put that as the star of the show because it is a holographic. But guys, we are going to go ahead and do some small Charizard hunting with four booster packs. We got two Burning Shadows and two Unbroken Bond. So let's go ahead and crack these bad boys open. All right, guys, so we got the packs open. Here is the code cards for the packs themselves. If you guys want to redeem these check lane promos, y'all already know you get to have all of them. So here are the four booster packs. If you guys are wondering how this is Charizard hunting, in Burning Shadows, there is the Rainbow Rare, the Secret Rare, the Hyper Rare Charizard. In Unbroken Bonds, the card itself is on the pack art. And fun fact, we actually pulled our Reshizard from one of these check lane blisters. So let's see what kind of bangers we can get. Because if we get something absolutely crazy, I swear, I am going to go insane if we pull a Charizard. But that was, ooh, we got a Guzma, which isn't too bad. But like I said, if you do get a green code from any of these sets, you basically got nothing. But oh, baby. This is when the suspense begins. I might do like little openings towards the end of these presents from Pidgey just so we can have some openings in the video. You feel me? Basically opening up packs and whatnot. But let's go ahead and see what we get in this booster pack itself. We got a Gligar and we got the Whimsicott GX, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. It's always good to at least get something from a white coat. Anything better than a holographic, I am truly grateful for. So here is our last Burning Shadows pack right here. It's been a hot minute since we opened up Burning Shadows, but it looks like luck is not on our side today because it is none other than a green coat. So that is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Like I said, Pokemon booster packs in general is a gamble. So let's see. And we got another green code. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We did get the Snowpoke that is straight chilling, taking a bath, which is a mood right now, my guy. But at least we did get this Whimsicott GX. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, check out all of these ultra rares that we got. These vintage cards and the Charizards, bro. Check this out. A full art Charizard. We got EX cards on full arts on secret rares on vintage cards and on custom cards as well there's just so much going on in this video so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys smash that like button and do not worry if i didn't open up your fan mail in this video there's plenty of episodes to come by without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace